Hey guys, how's it going? So it's me, Yoko. I am right now in Nagasaki Prefecture, which is kind of far from my place. Um, I live in Fukuoka Prefecture and I took a train like for two hours and I'm here. Right behind me, you can see the Chinese consulate. And we are about to protest against the Chinese Communist Party. Um, you see all the people um, getting prepared. But I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit before we uh, do that. I mean, I am in charge of this camera because I want to um, show you guys what it's like. Like, I just want you guys to realize that there are Japanese people that are protesting against the Chinese Communist Party too. A lot of you are probably like American, America-based um, overseas people. Your main concern might be like, uh, what you call it, like economy, but um, as Asians, we really um, care about the people that are being deprived of their human rights, so that's what we're gonna protest against. Um, but the reason why we came here, like right now, like on this day of July, is because there were two massacres that happened, that happened in July, and that's why we came in July. But uh, one of them was in 2009, and so I um, I still have to do some um, research. But uh, I hear that there was this riot caused by like Chinese workers against Uyghur, you know, Uyghur, Uyghur. In in English, I believe it's like Uyghur. And Chinese people kind of made up some lie and start attacking them and in order to protest to that Uyghur people um, they had a peaceful protest like after that incident but during that protest they were starting to be attacked by the Chinese police like a Chinese Communist Party and like thousands of people were like slaughtered like there, it was a massacre but you know, they make it like it was the fault of the Uyghur people. I'm pretty sure that you can find the information in English, but uh, I hear that there are like 10,000 people that are missing. And you know how China is, like they sell organs and all that kind of stuff, you know. The other was what happened in 2014, like two years ago, and th there was this woman that was wearing the traditional costume, like a scarf. And um, for just because of that, just that Chi Chinese people attacked her family, like including the little ch child and the old person. And then it's, um, from the information I have, it says that 3,000 people were slaughtered by the Chinese Communist Party. So we are going to um, protest against that. Good that there are police. I, I think you can see the police people too. That's good. but. Uh, yeah, like, I know that, you know, foreigners often know about uh, things in Tibet, but it's the same in Uyghur and also Inner Mongolia. So, just thought that now that I have, like, foreign, <laughs> foreign friends like you guys, I thought that um, it would be nice to protest here. Oh, okay. グルーの人権問題に関して抗議しに、え、やってまいりました。え、ルンチ事件から早いものでもう ウイグル人の行方不明者は一体今どこにいるのでしょうか。先日CNNの報道でもあったように被告では不当逮捕したウイグル人、チベット人、キリスト教徒を殺害し臓器移植に利用し被告はこんな悪魔的処遇を堂
我々は帰国にこの大量の行方不明者の安否を公表するように要求します我々は臓器移植目的であなた方が行っている大量虐殺にも猛烈に抗議するとともにこの軌道を阻止すべく全力を尽くすことを誓いますまた今月はヤルカウント事件から2年目でもありますあなた方が3000名にも及ぶヤルカウント市民を虐殺したあの事件ですあなた方を徹底した報道完成でもこの事件は信用せませんでした近で諸外国からの評判が悪化することにおびえ堀を取り作ろうためにますます報道への弾圧を強める帰国ですがそんなのは全く無駄であると知るべきです帰国は報道記者を不当逮捕・拘留している数の多さで世界最悪の国でありこれら不当に拘留されている記者の多くはウイグル人やチベット人です東トルキスタンやチベットで行われているあなた方の残虐行為を隠蔽する意図は丸見えです我々は帰国にこの大量の不当逮捕された記者たちの即時解放と報道規制の即時撤廃を要求します毎年毎年の提言にもかかわらず帰国は軍事力により他国や非肝心を恫喝し続け侵略と支配の野望を隠そうともしなくなりました大変残念です帰国が悔い改め、平和的で民主的な国にならんことを切に祈ります。平成二十八年七月三十一日、民族人権フォーラム一同。在長崎中国総領事館に着きます。私は日本の心、日本の心を大切にすると。九州ブロック事務局長の石井秀俊であります。我々は我が日本国はアジアにおける自由と民主主義を守るアジアに自由と民主主義を守るとその日本を私たちは作ってまいっております帰国はウイグル東トルキスタンの人々に対して残虐非道なる人権弾圧を行っている我々は決して認めることはできない許すことはできない特に7月5日ウルムチ大虐殺事件そしてヤルカンドの虐殺事件そして両事件に関連なる人々を大量に今も不当に拘束している事実に対し厳重に抗議し直ちに解放するように求めます。我が日本国はアジアにおける自由と民主主義を守っていく人権弾圧を断じて許さない徹底して声を上げ続けていくことをここに宣言します日本の心を大切にすると九州ブロック代表して石井秀俊我々は徹底して最後まで戦っていくことを宣言,し宣言する以上フリーウイグルバヤナフリーウイグルバヤナタブルシュンダフリーストルキスタン